Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is August the 4th, so this is vlog, vlog, miss, <laughs> no, not miss, vlogist number three, because I skipped yesterday. But uh, first, I want to say yes, I have decorated for Halloween. <laughs> In case you're wondering, one, I love to decorate early anyways, because it makes me happy. And two, um, because of what happened in July, I'm still really battling depression over it so I'm just trying to do things that make me happy so decorations make me happy I just want to say that before anybody says anything but yeah so today I got a ton of mail right there so I already kind of opened it I opened them just a little bit I didn't really pull everything out and look at it so uh, I'm gonna share it all with you guys for today's video <laughs> okay first I got this this is a set of knitting needles I got this from Knit Crate because Knit Cray opened a new company called Yarn Rush. And I shared, they sent me an email to share a giveaway they were doing a few weeks ago uh, for the opening of this new website. Which Yarn Rush is a website where they're going to be selling, uh, I think it's Bernat yarn and some other types of yarn at a discounted price for members. I think it's like $5 a month, somewhere around there. And um, then you can buy yarn through them and it's deeply discounted. It's like 30 to 80% discounted or something like that. I can't remember. <laughs> I haven't actually been to the website since it opened. I think it opened yesterday. The actual store part opened. But anyways, they gave me a link to share for people to enter a giveaway because they were giving my yarn. And every time someone signed up through that link that I shared, it gave me like a point, uh, one point per person who signed up. So, and then they had these reward tiers. Um, one was like a month membership and then a year membership. And the last tier was a set of knitting needles. And um, so this is them. I had like 350 people, I think, sign up through my link. So it was really cool to see that go up and up and up <laughs> that one day. And um, but yeah, so they sent me these needles. So I'm gonna show them to you. <clears throat> they said, I think they're like a $79 value, but it, it says box of joy. And I think it's, Carbons is what it says. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it's interchangeable needle set and it's from Knitter's Pride. It's kind of packaged like a Bible is what it reminds me of. And then it's like in a case, so I gotta dump it out of the case. And then this is the knitting needle case. It's got like fake velvet, I don't know what that's called. But it opens like this. <laughs> and there's all the, the tips. They are metal tips, I think they're brass is what it says. And they're really pretty. It's got, um, I think I said nine sizes it's on the back of one of these boxes. Yeah, there's nine sizes, and it's US 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 and a half, and 11. And it's got the millimeters on there, too. And the needle tips are carbon fiber and brass. The connectors are brass. The cords are nylon, and the cord key is stainless steel. But then under the, um, the needles <laughs> is a little compartment. And that's where the little tools for tightening up the the needles onto the cords are. It's got instructions. And then in a little zipper bag, it's got uh, three cords. And it's got the little end cap thingy so that uh, nothing falls off the end of the cord. And it's, it looks like it's got some more of those little tools in there. But yeah, so that's pretty cool. It comes with three cords. And they are, no, four cords. And, um, let's see here, it says, yeah, there's two of one. There's a 24 inch one, a 32, two 32 inch ones, and a 40 inch one. So that's cool. I don't really knit a lot. I know how to knit somewhat. And I had my own set of interchangeable needles, but they were cheap ones from um, Hobby Lobby. And they were plastic, and I did not like them at all. So I ended up giving them to uh, the girl that I used to babysit. She's older now, so I don't babysit her <laughs> anymore. But her name is Kat. She, uh, I taught her how to crochet, so she crochets, crochets a lot, and then she got interested in knitting. I don't know if she ever actually learned how to knit, but anyways, I gave those to her. So I'm actually glad for these, because I was going to buy some knitting needles recently, because I want to start making some dishcloths, because I like making that Granny's Favorite or Granny's Best dishcloth, and uh, I got a ton of cotton, so I'm going to be using these to make some dishcloths, and maybe I'll learn how to knit more eventually, but probably not. Okay, so the boxes. <laughs> I was so surprised. I knew I was getting two packages today. Like, that's what my email told me. So, I wasn't expecting all of these to be in there. And I'm getting my Knit Crate yarn tomorrow, is what it says online. So, when I got that, I thought that was the yarn. And then I realized it was hard. So, I was like, well, it's not the yarn. So, I was like, oh, it's the needles. Because they did email me and told me that they were sending it soon. 
but um so i went in the post office and i was waiting in line to get my packages and i know the the mailman in there him you know he knows me because i'm in there all the time mailing packages and getting stuff and so he knows my box number so when he saw that i had that yellow card that means i have a package he went back there to get it and when he came out he came out carrying all six of those <laughs> and i was laughing and i was like i thought there was only two and he said yeah there was two and then there was two more and then there was two more <laughs> but it was just funny anyways this package it's kind of open <laughs> it's from tara lynn she lives in new jersey kind of loud because i'll tape i should have pulled it off there's one thing missing out of this box and i'll tell you about it in just a second it's because jesse jesse stole it but yeah so she sent me this card she has really pretty penmanship there's the card with a note in it thank you Terrilyn. and i do appreciate all these gifts that you guys send me you never have to send me anything i do love getting cards especially now because like i said earlier i'm battling depression which is really odd for me i'm not usually the kind of person who is depressed but um july was just a really really hard month and i'm glad it's over and i'm hoping that things get better but anyways here's all the stuff that is in this box i didn't even look at it i don't even know what this stuff is i just kind of like looked in the boxes this is loops and threads mink the colorway is tiger which is kind of weird because it doesn't look like a tiger at all there's oh gosh five six there's eight of them <laughs> but here it is up close it's pretty and it's super soft let's see here what's the 65 yards uh where's the okay it's a uh, number five bulky uh i'm assuming it's acrylic i don't see the polyester 100 percent polyester cool i don't know what i'll make of that but it's cool oh my gosh it's so soft so there are how many did i say two four six eight of them where am i gonna put these Okay, here's this little box there was inside this box was another little tin box that looked like a mailbox box 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 jesse commandeered that he's seen it and he's like i want that i want that i want that so i just gave it to him but it was just one of these little tins and it was made to look like a little mailbox this is so cute i love this i actually love the shape of it it looks like a little treasure chest inside here there was the mailbox which had all this other stuff in it so inside the mailbox was this little it's like a gift card box and in it is a pen that is a cardinal. I love cardinals. And that's what she said in the letter. She knew that I loved them. So pretty. But this would be a pretty shawl pen for Christmas time. And I'll also reuse this little tin. Because I give gift cards. There's a lot of teenage, you know, teenagers and young adults in my life that I gift just money to on the holidays. So I will give that to one of them. <laughs> the box, not the pen. And then there's these little um, sew on buttons that are black and with gold. Well, it's like wood. It's like it was black and then they inscribed on top of it and it says handmade so some of those and then this <laughs> Did, is that a toilet paper roll there's little wooden buttons that's coffee cups and hearts and it looks like toilet paper rolls that's so funny this is 2020 and then there's more these ones say handmade also a little wooden just you know that you sew onto a project afterwards and this is what i thought was really cool so here's a keychain, and this is made out of ri resin, resin, resin. It's a um, stitch marker. Let me open it. Okay, it's Greek English, but it's it's a heart, and it looks like there's like caramel or something dripping off of it, and it's a stitch marker, and then a matching crochet hook, and it's resin. I'm pretty sure it could be polymer clay, but it looks like resin. We might be clay on top and on top of it's like a, a flower and it's a h hook because it's blue <laughs> and it's a susie bates which is one of my favorite so yee, i'm excited about that and it's all it was all in this little cardinal box i think i already showed that i can't remember i'm tired let me put it all back in here so i don't lose any of these little pieces i can't believe it's little toilet papers <laughs> i don't know what i'm gonna use that for and then she sent me these um clips these are from dollar tree and she sent them to me because Terry from Yarn Joy Podcast, she uses these for her bobbins when she's doing graphs. And my Dollar Tree never has these, so it's actually cool that she sent these. So she sent me four packs of them. So now I'm ready when I go to do my Grinchmas blanket eventually, <laughs> whenever I get around to doing that. 
or any other graphic I just had to make them there. Uh, this, uh, in the letter, she said it was a plate that she found, I think, at Hobby Lobby. Where did my knife go? I had a knife and I misplaced it. There it is. Okay, I had to go get my knife. Found a piece of tape. Okay. Probably should have opened this earlier. She wrapped it really well so it wouldn't break, I guess. And it doesn't feel broken, so that's good. Now it's in paper. <laughs> oh, so pretty. It is a snowman. It's just, it's shallow. <laughs> that would be so cute to set out. That would be cute on one of those plate holder thingies. It says that it's Robert Stanley Home Collection. I love anything to do with Christmas. Now I gotta put this somewhere safe. And then she sent some fat quarters. So this one is pl uh, buffalo plaid with snowflakes. It's regular plaid. I don't know what that's called. <laughs> this one looks like it's got cardinals on it. And I think that's another one. Yeah, it's like two. These would be bags. These would be probably personal bags. I'll probably keep those. And then the last thing that she sent is... The last thing is this, which she said is a shawl. Ooh, there's a pick. Okay, right, let's get to the shawl. Ah, there's multiple books. Ugh. Okay. Ooh, look at it. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's sparkly. I don't know if you can see that it's sparkly, but it's black and red sparkly. And it's a big red shawl. Oh, it's so cute. I'm definitely going to use this for the holiday time with my cardinal pen, which is in that thing over there. Thank you so much. It's so cute. It's Santa, Santa Claus-ish. Take that there. All right. And she sent some books and some stickers. <laughs> okay. These are for Jesse, I'm assuming. <laughs> a whole bunch of stickers. I love that. The books that she sent is Leisure Arts. Uh, thread Christmas ornaments. So it's a Christmas ornament book. I don't actually have any thread right now. I've been meaning to get some because I want to make some bookmarks. Little thin dainty ones for like bobbles and stuff. So I can't do that with regular yarn. And this one is Leisure Arts Cute Amigurumi Monsters. These are cute. Lots of cute little patterns in there. Hey, thank you so much Tara Lynn. Do you go by Tara or Tara Lynn? All right, so that was the first package from Tara Lynn. <laughs> so thank you so much, Tara Lynn. This next box, find, I think this is the one from Angela. I think I ripped the thing off, but I think it's from Angela. Wait, right here's the card, I'm not sure. So I'm not lying. <laughs> yes, this one's from Angela. Here's the card that she sent, it's real pretty. It's got glitter on it, you can't see it, but it's there. That's that other card right there. Right. She sent, I think she sent two boxes. I'll have to get to it. But she sent, this is two. She said she used some of, I guess this one and there's a um, mandala. But this is comfy cotton. I don't know if I can see that. Yeah, the color, where is the color? The color is cloud nine. So there's three whole cakes and this one here looks like it might be a little, a little used, but maybe it just doesn't have a ball band. So there's those. And then this is two, these are mandala genies. <laughs> I know this color because I've used it before. And then there's like two smaller ones there. This next one's also from Angela. I, I remember that she sent two and Karen, I got two more from Karen. This one has got fabric in it. Get them all out of here. Some of them are yards and a couple fat quarters. All right, so there's these two fat quarters. They're fall colors. Very cute. And then this is two yards. It's like um, patriotic, but I mean, it is just red, white, and blue also, so it could be anything. 
two yards of that. And this is two more of the two yard little bundles of stars. And this is a yard of Christmas print. Super duper cute. This one I saw the other day at the store at Walmart and I almost bought it. But it's another yard of Christmas and Christmas lights. And this is a yard of fa uh, fall leaves. And this is a yard of buffalo plaid. And there's another two yard of the fireworky looking print. So that's from Angela. Thank you so much, Angela. I will definitely use this fabric for bags. I might keep the Christmas ones though. <laughs> I have a hard time partnering with Christmas stuff. And the yarn is awesome. I've been wanting to get something, get some of the comfy cotton to make something with it. And um, I just never got around to buying it because I don't really buy yarn a lot. I've been trying to use what I have. And um, yeah, so I'm going to make something with that. I don't know what, but I'll figure something out. Okay, the last two boxes are from Karen. She sent me a box last week and then she told me that there's two more boxes coming. And this is them. And again, I didn't even go through them. I just kind of opened them <laughs> in the car because we were busy this morning. And I just wanted to see like a little bit of them. But she sent this first box on top has two uh, latte cakes, which I've never used. I've seen people like uh, Rose and all that use these like crazy and I always wanted some. And we don't have any stores around here to sell this. And I think uh, Michael's maybe carry these, but I never go to Michael's. Every time I'm going to a store that's not here, I go to Joanne's. Anyways, this one is called Rose Scented. <laughs> I think it says roasted and perfume. Okay, that's kind of a weird name. <laughs> and this one is plum. They're really pretty and soft looking. What else is in here? I'm just gonna dump it out. Ah! Ooh. Okay, so here's a yarn bee uh, glint of glam red. That looks thin. Yeah, it says it's a size 3. So it's a size 3 yarn with some pretty sprinkles in it. I don't know where to put any of this. <laughs> then there's two balls of Nako. Nako? What is it? Let's see here. Color 60. <laughs> uh, 100 grams. I don't know. I, can't, I don't know what it is. It looks thin. It looks like a size 3. Very pretty purple. And then there's also two silver ones. And then a pink one. It's like a rose pink. And then there's a bag with some, what is this? I think it had, yeah, this Sweet Divinity. Sweet Divinity. That's not Sweet Divinity. Okay, there's two balls of Sweet Divinity. This one's called Denim Dream. It's like a denim blue color. And this one is called Amber Waves. They actually go good together. They'd be pretty as something together. They got a lot of yards in them. 243. And then this one is called Yarn Be Soft and Sleek DK. It's really pretty. It's like a great, like a really pretty gray color. It doesn't, we're just a color. I think it's on the inside of the band, which is inside the ball. Or I'm just overlooking it. Oops. Well, I can't see the color name. <laughs> Wait, it says linen. The color is linen. It looks gray though. Maybe it is brown and it's just my lighting's bad. <laughs> it's really pretty though. I like it. So that's the first box from her. The second box I did see inside of and I was excited. Alright, the second box from her, technically the third box, has Red Heart Ombres in it, which I've been wanting to get some more of. I had, I think it was called Scuba. I think that's what it's called. It was like a blue, a uh, tilly blue, sea foamy, tilly blue <laughs> colorway. But these are different ones. This one is called True Blue Ombre. It's Red Heart Ombre. Can't remember if I said that. And then there's two, I think. Yeah, there's two. And one's in a bag. <laughs> this one, and it's called 
anthracite. I don't know if I said that right. It's like gray. It's really pretty. I love gray. Obviously, my mom, well, you can't see it, but my new couch is gray. Everything in my living room now is gray, pretty much. And then there's also two pinks, and it's called sea coral. So pretty. That would probably go good with that one. That's something. But yeah, that's everything. <laughs> I super appreciate it, especially these ombres, because I've been really wanting to mess with them. Make blankets and these, because I've never used them. I have seen that they wash and kind of get weird and almost matted. But um, I think that's like machine wash. If you hand wash it, it doesn't. But uh, it would probably make really cool amigurumis too. Let's see here. It's acrylic and nylon. I don't know. I'll just have to mess around with it and see what I like. That's a lot of mail. <laughs> it's going to take me forever to put all this up, but I got to put it all away somewhere and uh, get ready to start sewing. I'm working on new totes, and um, I'll have them done by this weekend, but I probably won't. I don't know when I'll put them in the shop. Maybe sometime next week, whenever I get around to it, because I got to finish sewing all those totes, and then I got to make my sister some stuff that she, she bought me the supplies to sew her some things, and um, I need to make some more face masks for us here. So that we have more to, you know, cycle through. But yeah, so I've got a lot of stuff to do. And I'm going to, I'm going to want, blah. I'm going to want to try out those knitting needles. Because <laughs> I think I'll like the metal ones way better than the plastic ones. I didn't like the plastic ones because I felt like the yarn wasn't moving. I had to like physically push it off the needle. And that's why it was boring. Because I, I'll, I crochet fast, so I want to knit fast too. And um, that's one reason I stopped knitting is because it was so slow. And uh, I don't want to work on a dishcloth for days, you know, and I can sit down and crochet a couple in an hour. So hopefully those metal ones glide better. I'm gonna try them out and then I'll do a review on them, I guess. Um, I tried looking them up and I, I couldn't really find where you can buy this exact set, but they have like smaller sets of the same needles. So um, I'll do some looking around and see what I can find. But I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and get this edited because I got to get all this cleaned up because later Devin's sister and the girl that I used to babysit, <laughs> catch, they're gonna come over and we'll probably end up playing some board games and stuff and uh so i need to clean up the living room it's really messy right now with mail stuff everywhere but i will see you guys in another video hopefully soon <laughs> and um yeah bye guys